This is the theme, the theme show. This is the theme show. This is the theme, this is the theme show. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, peace be with you. This is a greeting of Jesus, Moses, Abraham, and the last and final messenger sent to mankind of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, a message. Yes, messengers were sent, and they came with the truth and proof to provide for the people, because somebody can claim that he's speaking the scripture, revelation from God. But what proof did they bring to back it up? And Islam gives all the proof that this is indeed the truth from the creator of the heavens and earth. And that's what we're going to be covering today. The scientific miracles. You ask a person, says, you know what, do you believe in God? And do you, you know what, are you religious? No, no, I'm into science. Well, Islam doesn't conflict with science. Islam paves the way for science. What? Yes. And that's what you're going to have to sit tight for to hear all the proofs and truths that Islam provides so you can know indeed that this is indeed from the one creator of the heavens and the earth. Sit tight, don't go nowhere. This is the Dean, the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. This is the Dean, this is the Dean Show. This is the Dean, this is the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. This is the Dean, this is the Dean Show. 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 Back here on the Dean Show with Sheikh Allah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be with you. Peace be with you too, inshallah. Time is short, so we're going to get right into the topic. God Almighty, He created this whole universe and everything in it. And the people who are watching now, they got away from the baseball, the football, and all these other entertainment that are out there. And they want to see what Islam has to offer. And I opened up the show and I said, science. We know that Jesus, He came with certain miracles to prove that He was a messenger. So did Moses and all the other messengers. But today we have a living miracle, the Quran, which is the verbatim word of God. So we want to go into some of the scientific facts. We know that some other religions, it, they conflicted with science. And they used to kill and persecute the scientists because now they would show contradictions in their books. But it's amazing that Islam leads the way to science. And there are certain facts in the Quran, so we're going to talk about these. And how could we know that indeed after listening to you, or we will know that, how can this come from anyone else? Is it possible? It's actually impossible for anyone else other than God Almighty, the one and only God, to come up with these things because it's next to impossible or impossible for anyone almost 1500 years ago to come up with all these scientific facts that no one else knew except with the last hundred years some of them see even the last 20 years or so so the beauty of Islam and the beauty of the Quran is it actually challenges you it doesn't just tell you to believe and don't uh, ask questions as a matter of fact God Almighty in those says will they not ponder and reflect upon the signs in thy cells will you not ponder and reflect, meaning the miracle of your own creation, and look at the fil ard, go roam on the earth and look at the miracles, look at the signs. So God Almighty is actually challenging you. He's telling you, go, go, check, ponder, cross-reference, don't just submit, do this. Yes, we are told to submit on certain things that we cannot comprehend. We understand that part. But since we're talking about the scientific miracles of the Quran, we're talking your language now. Now you're saying that uh, in this time and age, uh, you're telling me that, you know, prove it to me because I don't believe in this. I don't yeah. believe in that. You know, I'm not this religious type of guy. I'm this, I'm that. I said, okay, if you want to leave religion aside, obviously we don't recommend it. But if that's the language that you speak, we'll speak your language. What language do you speak? Proof. We'll give you proof. And as a matter of fact, God Almighty says, this, those that are not equal, they're not equal, those who know and those who don't know, so acquiring knowledge. So now if you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give you that challenge, the onus is on you, you have to check. Now the ball is in your court, because God Almighty says, Allah will not change you unless you want to change with themselves. So be honest with yourself, at least give yourself a chance. 
This chance is right there in your, on your fingertips when God Almighty tells you here is the proofs that we will show you our signs on the horizon. Till do you know that this is the truth that comes from thy Lord. And no one else speaks with that affirmity and that conviction except God Almighty. So I actually, when I have some of the schools coming to our center, talking about uh, comparative religion, also want to learn about Islam, I tell him the same thing, which I will share with you now, if, you know, God permitting, that the, the time is, is available. Now, the, the question I pose to them, I says, listen, do you think Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, had an F-16? <laughs> the... <laughs> what are you talking about? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, very good. So how did he know what happens to you when you ascend to heaven? How, do you know, how did he know what happens to you when you actually elevate? And even, you know, when you hear these uh, things in the, in the plane, so highly unlikely the pressure cabin changes, you will see this mask. How do you know that? Even in the surah, it's there in the Quran, it says, As if you're going up, as if the, the pressure is against your, uh, your rib cage. And uh, this is mentioned in the Quran. It's mentioned in the Quran. Absolutely. So when you're, when you're go ascending high up into a different altitude in the sky, what's it saying the again? The pressure. يَجْعَلْ صَدْرَهُ ضَيِّقًا حَرَجًا كَأَنَّهُ يَصَّعَتْ فِي السَّمَاءِ Your pressure, the, your, your ribcage will actually concave, will be pressured as if you're ascending in the, in the, in the heavens. Who knew that? Who, no one actually got up in the, in the heavens. But, he, but you, did you just say, he, did he, he had an F-16? No, he no. didn't have an F-16 <laughs> unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure everybody else may think that yeah. way. Okay, now they said, okay, if we've proven that he did not have an F-16, do you think he had a submarine? Well, how, now you went for F-16, so now submarine. Yeah, so okay. I, they say, I'm, they shake their head. I said, I'm pretty sure he didn't have a submarine. He, didn't, he wasn't like a Jacques Cousteau, yeah. walking around with a bonnet on the left-hand side or the cool, you know, trying to look like a, a French artist and saying, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. No, he, was, he did not have a submarine. So how did, how did he know what happens in the darkness of the layers of the depth of the ocean? Now the Quran is talking about Absolutely. this in the Quran. Yes, I mean, I'm going to give them some challenges. Yeah. I want to do some homework. I will give you some of the signs and I will challenge you to go and find out yourself. Punch in. You can use Sheikh Google. You can use uh, Punch in mir Scientific Miracles in the Quran. It will light up like the 4th of July. Yeah. We'll talk about some of them, but I will ask you, I will challenge you to go back and use the internet to find out everything about it. It's impossible for us to comprehend and talk about all the miracles, the scientific miracles in the Quran in a very short time. So we're looking for just this short, simple path and simple journey. If he didn't have a F-16, and I'm pretty sure he didn't have a submarine, knowing what happens in the, yeah. there. Uh -huh. So maybe he had a GPS, possibly, a satellite. Huh? No? You're right, he didn't. Because how did he know what happens then beneath the earth? And the mountains have anchors. That these were the autada. This is the anchors and the, how they keep the balance and the checks of the gravity and so on. All these things are explained in details. Nobody knew that. Nobody actually penetrated the earth in order for them to see that the actual mountain is just the top and beneath that is like an anchor is more than the, in, the, in the depth of the ocean. Since he didn't have an F-16 or a submarine or a GPS or any satellite, maybe he had a Voyager. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't? I'm pretty sure he didn't. No, not so at all. how did he know what happens when he actually ascend and open the knee? Hemisphere. There are seven layers of hemisphere. Who knew him? Who knew then? Even though that we celebrate and we do the success of the mankind now going to the moon and all that 1500 years ago, who would have known that? Who would have known the theory of the Big Bang? Who would have known that even known Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that uh, maybe he was walking, he had a stethoscope? Maybe do you think he did? He had an ultrasound machine? Nothing of the sort. Right? I'm pretty sure he didn't walk behind astaghfirullah or hasha. Wallahi, we don't mean to uh, say anything that is wrong, but just to give you something that you can relate to, a language that you can speak. Yeah. He didn't have a stethoscope and walk in, you know, to check how the human being was created. Pregnant woman in Medina say, Wallahi, I, just, I need to know how the human being was created. I need to listen to it or put an ultrasound machine to see how the stages. Who would have known how the human being was created a step by step in great details except the Creator? Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula is the only one that knew how the human being was created. Not only how he was created, how the steps of uh, the gender, not just the, 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 the how it was created, they'll tell you the gender and where it, come, it came from, the sources, not just the people that think, oh, because you're this type of a man, you will have this uh, girls only. You have this type of man, you will have uh, boys only. And that's not the case. God Almighty says, 
comes from the male and the female. So now we know now in that, uh, in the recent scientific, not only you will find how it's created, it will also comes from where? Not just the father, not just the mother, it comes from the father and the mother accordingly. And of course, some specific parts of the human being, even up to the fingertips, and the fingertips, banana. Uh, this banana, the fingertips. The fingertips is a miracle in itself. How many millions or billions of human beings were created? Amazingly enough, not everyone have the same fingertips. And God Almighty mentioned that as they can an author says that yes, we are capable of doing this. Why would he change? Why would he mention this? They say that's a miracle in itself. That are using it. About the DNA, all these things are there. Amazingly enough, in a very short form to talk about what God Almighty has given you in a summary, what the scientific milk of the Quran, in a nutshell, uh, what we have to share with these, you. These are, these are just a few, and you left off the finger, the, the actual human fingerprint that we just discovered that this separates every human being. There's no two alike. That's mentioned in the verbatim word of God, the Quran? Yeah, absolutely. بَلَا قَادِرِينَ عَلَىٰ أَن نُسَوِّيَ بَنَانَةً Nay, we are capable of that, doing that, the, the banana, that fingertips. And that, the scholar says, is a miracle in itself to be mentioned over almost 1500 years ago that God Almighty has mentioned that to attract attention that you will you not ponder and reflect وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَفَلَا تُبْصِرُونَ Will you not even look at your own creation in that essence? We're going to take a break and we'll be back with more scientific facts, not fiction, that's in the verbatim word of God, the Quran, when we come back here in the Dean Show. Sit tight. This is the I don't say to people I used to be a Christian. I still carry the values and the principles of loving Jesus Christ and perhaps maybe more than the people who call themselves Christians. So I think I got the best out of Christianity by becoming Muslim. So many other things that you can enjoy without drinking a sip of alcohol. Death is the same thing. It's not an obstacle. It's not something to cause people to get completely desperate and start stopping living their lives. No, it should be a motivation. It's only one life that you're going to be living, so you better do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mohammed could not have known these facts about human development in the 7th century because most of them were not discovered until the 20th century. That God transmitted through Muhammad bits of his knowledge that we have only discovered for ourselves in recent times. 1,400 years ago, when the world was immersed in darkness, the Quran was revealed, which brought light to a beleaguered world. And whereas the earlier books came with many scientific mistakes due to the hand of man having delved into them, the Quran had none of these contradictions. The world thought there could be no reconciliation between religion and science. But the Quran mentioned many scientific facts in great detail, like how a human being developed in the mother's womb, and described other scientific facts which amaze the world's renowned scientists and scientific community. Back here on the Dean Show, and we're talking about facts not fiction and this is one of the things that I, I read a book and people can get this book free at thedeanshow.com it's a brief illustrated guide to understanding Islam I had listened to The Purpose of Life by Khalid Yassin it's also something I recommend and I was I was investigating checking up this checking up I wanted to before I submitted fully in Islam to make sure that what about all these other religions how can I know that these you know they're claiming they're from God I want to make sure hundred percent and what really lifted up my conviction were these scientific facts. I read one, and then I had in the book what the experts in this field are saying. That there's no way that this could have come from a human being. So you mentioned a few, and somebody, I would say, oh, this coincidence. Oh, the guy, well, he was brilliant. Oh, he was a superstar. You know. But now that we keep going and going, it just can't. It's impossible. So give us some more of these. You covered the fingerprint. You, you covered the depths of the ocean. And you covered also uh, when you ascend, God is talking about what happens to you. Give us some more. Talk to us some more of about course. some of the other miracles in the Quran. Not only uh, the miracles of the Quran that actually is proof to anyone, even scientists become Muslim because of that. And we know some of them, of course, in Maurice Bacall and so on. They've written books about this, specifically the creation of the human being. And everyone uh, knows that when God Almighty told us the, the, the word alaq, that the word that's something that hangs, when I go into details into this, how it started from nutfa, a drop of a sperm, 
and how it then became a mudra, you know, the, the, something that hangs in the womb. Yeah. Then it became a, a chewed sustenance. And God Almighty goes into the details. And after this is the idham, فَكَسَوْنَ الْعِظَامَ لَحْمَا Then it goes into the, the, the vertebrae. Then you cover it with the, with the flesh and it grows. And amazingly enough, not just in the Quran, when Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, says that the, even the angels will come and blow in the, after 120 days. Then you look into it and go, amazingly enough, that's when it starts. Life it starts, when the things are decreed, decreed, I mean, written for it. So not just any human beings, these are the scientists, and specifically scientists, if they become a Muslim, that's a major uh, proof that they are the one, that they actually defy anything else except the proof. Don't tell me about religion, don't tell me about anything else. So when scientists themselves discover these things, it is a major uh, proof that the Quran is actually the word of God. There are certain things, of course, that God Almighty says, that the earth is actually being decreased from that, its circumference. How is it possible for anyone to have been, uh, other than the Creator, would have known how the earth is actually being, uh, how it is being treated, expanding or, or decreased, except that God Almighty. Speaking of the earth in itself, when it meets the ocean, if you look at the, uh, at the rocks itself, how it actually reacts to it, who else would have known that the fresh water does not actually mix with the salt water? Amazingly enough, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again, Surah Al-Rahman, بَيْنَهُمَا بَرْزَخٌ لَا يَبْغِيَانَ Between them there is a veil that they don't actually mix the salt water with the fresh water. Nobody took a lab or a boat inside and found out even where the fresh water was or the, the, the salt water was. No one knew where the river came in and met with, uh, with the ocean water and took a sample from here, a sample from here, and no doubt there's a density, different density, different uh, contents. Even amazingly enough, the ocean life, the, 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 all the marine life and everything else, it's not how they have their own characteristics, how they don't mix, how they live and how they actually see the barzakh, that, that uh, veil that actually protects them from and smooth it amazingly. That's in the Quran. Absolutely, in, in, in Surah Al-Rahman, of course. بَيْنَهُمَا بَرْزَخٌ لَا يَبْغِيَانَ مَرَجَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ يَلْتَقِيَانَ Minged the two seas, the fresh and the gullar. بَيْنَهُمَا Between yeah. them, there is a, uh, a veil that they do not transgress from one another. This one here stays as their content, that one here stays in the content. And if anyone tries to do that, in any lab, you add this and you add that, they will be mixed. It's yeah. impossible. Only God Almighty knew that secret, and only God Almighty kept the characteristics of that. Not to mention that even the water itself, we know it's H2O, the contact itself. Yes. If you, do, if you put hydrogen and oxygen in the lab together, what happens? It explodes. I'm not asking you to do this. Do we have a lawyer here? <laughs> we have to put a disclaimer on this one. Please do not try this at home. But look at the, 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 the capability of God Almighty. The context of it is actually should be blown up, but God Almighty takes away the characteristics of that for us to be able to live among them and get the, you know, the fishing and the livelihood and the pearls and all that. We use it at modes of transportation and so on. But imagine, imagine the, the, the capability of the Creator telling us on this. And the cycle of the, the, the evaporation, the water, the cycle that goes to the clouds and it comes back to the rain. And what kind of clouds? God Almighty actually mentioned this. at thiqal These are the heavy ones that are now telling you that we can, uh, you know, we know which one, which one is rains. God Almighty told us that over almost 1500 years ago. He told us which one that carries, which one that doesn't carry water. And the wind and the cycle and so on. وَأَنزَلْنَا الْحَدِيدِ There's another miracle in itself. When God Almighty says the hadith, the steel has been descended. Meaning the contents of the hadith itself, it cannot be have the, done here. It's, it's too grave, the scholar says, for it to be. Is this the, the iron? That, the iron. That comes down, that God sent down? That is correct. Yeah. Because of the, the scholar says, if you look at the, the, the breakdown or the, for, the, for the actual metal of, of steel, it is impossible for us to, uh, to have been uh, formed here. So God Almighty, we have descended. The, the, the steel, so of course it was also mentioned what it was, and so on. In the essence, looking at the bigger picture, how about the, the, big, the big Bang Theory? That I says, it's the ma, wal ard kana ratqan fafataknahuma. They were one layer, and they were actually uh, taken uh, apart. And there are so many other uh, miracles of, uh, of the Qur'an when it comes to the scientific facts. Again, I'm going to challenge you one more time to go back and Google it, Scientific miracles in the Quran, and you will see it again. Too many for us to talk. The milk in the cow.
Can you elaborate on this one? Subhanallah. That is another miracle. It says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yastakhlisuha. Imagine the, the milk comes between farth wa dam. Uh, meaning, you know, Ajallakum Allah, may God uh, bless you. I don't mean to say anything that is not befitting accordingly, but it is that uh, what we have in the stomach. The feces. The feces. Yeah. And also the blood. You would have thought that a milk that comes from between the feces and the, and the blood would come with a certain smell, at least a certain aroma or stench yeah. because of what it is. Or even that comes with a hint of red yeah. because of the blood. But amazingly enough, God Almighty says, there's another challenge for you. It comes from the stomach where the, the feces are there and the blood is there, but it comes with no smell and no traces of red of the color, but it comes pure, odorless, and pure uh, white milk. This is in the Quran. In the Quran. Uh, honey, a healing for mankind. Subhanallah. The honey in itself, the bee, if you look at the bee in the documentary about the bees and so on, you'll find out that it's a miracle by itself how the creation of the bee, and that's why they were actually uh, mentioned in the Quran, and they have uh, a whole chapter in the honor of the bee, of how God Almighty says that they will actually go on the, uh, on, uh, on the, the flowers and the trees and they were uh, the extract and they come in and wafihi shifa it didn't say in it there is the cure not the right otherwise every illness that we have we could have simply taken honey and that would have been healed but that's not the case it's yeah. fihi shifa in tab'idiyya amongst the, from that we can be certainly used for cure and you'll know now that the the the, the jill that they sell uh, the honeybee and, and so on uh, that they actually use now especially when it comes from the queen is very expensive what do they use it for health purposes to cure illnesses the uh, the naturopath and all that stuff is used for that simple fact who knew that then over 1500 years ago that uh, or over almost 1500 years ago how this uh, came and what it comes and what importance of the honey itself except the creator of the bee which is god almighty one more one more before we go to uh, break that we're all created from water subhanallah imagine the context of uh, the human being how many and you take it you, you find out actually it's the context of the of the earth but the majority of the human being is actually water and everything that has a life or sustenance it is from water the source of it even though prophet muhammad may peace be upon him used that uh, line when he was migrating when he was asked where are you from he says from min ma from water so again either the min ma in maheen some of the scholars created the majority of water aqua the liquid or ma meaning that the the, uh, the the sperm that we were actually created from both accepted and again this is again the miracle of god almighty only the only the one creator that would know where we were created from amazing amazing we'll be right back with more here on the Dean Show, sit tight. No problem. You can take my daughter to dinner, you and my daughter and me. Let me tell you something. It's natural. That's the idea. God created it. And He created us to have a good time. Mm -hmm. We should have a good time. Only with our wives, though. Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world. And most of the converts are women, not men. They see that the rules of Islam, instead of constraining them, the rules set them free. Back here on the Dean Show, and we're giving you the scientific proofs. There are certain prophecies, historical facts, all these things we're not covering in this show. We're talking about the scientific facts. This is not fiction, and you named, you went over so many. Tell us now, in what context is the creator of the heavens bringing these verses? Is he talking to the human being and saying, consider this? If it was from this, how would you know this and that? How, give us some of the examples of the context when God Almighty talks about these, these, these facts uh, of science that he's talking about certainly is speaking of the creator's language is speaking it challenging as a matter of fact God Almighty gives you two challenges and that's why the scholars actually say if anyone has uh, the audacity to prove 
something that is uh, a fallacy or, 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 or uh, not, they have to have a cross-check reference in order for you to say that this is uh, correct or not correct. God Almighty actually gives you challenges, not just a scientific fact. Of course, it tells you, if you do this, if you're able to do this, then this Quran is not from God. And he actually does the exact opposite. He says, you will never be able to do this. Wow. And since you will never be able to do this, believe that this is from the Creator and ward yourself from the hellfire and so on. So only God Almighty and only the Quran that gives you that challenge. And the same thing, that God Almighty gives you the challenge to ponder and reflect and look at yourself. Even that, everything, the pulse and everything that, you're, you're, that we mentioned about the challenges that God Almighty has given us from the scientific miracles in the Quran that speaks in this language and speaks at this time, only the Creator would be able to give us these challenges with the firm answer and He's telling you, since you will not be able to do this, believe in it, and since you will, won't be able to, to do as such, in, in both of them, God Almighty is telling you, believe so you may ward off yourself from, protect yourself from a whole fire and so on. A couple more points before we come to an end. You have certain people, these people that verified these scientific facts are experts in this field. God Almighty in the Quran says, you know, if you don't know, go to the people who know, people of knowledge. And you'll see people, let's say they have a, a PhD or a doctorate in math, or a person's a doctor, just a you know, reg regular practitioner in medicine, and some people, they have an agenda, they want to try to disimprove Islam, but because they have this doctor in front of their name, they'll say, no, this is false, okay? Have you come across this? And then they'll post some articles, which the experts who are doctors or scientists, and they just studied embryology, for example, for their whole life, they'll say this is false. Fact, but if someone has a he's a mathematician and then he's a, you know saying this is not you, 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 how do you deal with this? Amazing! I think when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says "Wasalu ahli dhikrin kuntum la ta'alamun," ask the people of knowledge if you know not. And we mentioned before in another episode, it says if you actually have a car problems, you take it to a mechanic. If you want to have, uh, you know, if you have an issue with your plumbing, you will not, you would not go to a doctor. So in this essence, we say specialization. Specialization. Is the key word here. Yeah. So it was certainly, if we talk about embryology, we go to a doctor that has studied embryology, and that's what God Almighty actually gears us and challenges this, uh, this, uh, this discussion toward. So we go to the special, uh, special in that field and ask him accordingly. We give him the credentials and we give him the, uh, the benefit of the doubt accordingly because we go to a doctor, he says take one pill here, one pill there, you don't say why and uh, give me the proof and, and so on because we take it for such that he's done his, uh, devoted his life to study that and when God Almighty says go to these people to prove otherwise and they say they confirm what God Almighty says in the Quran, we have to submit from the Creator and the Created that they are on the same path and the same uh, answer. Specializes in this field, so not anybody who's just, say, a doctor and he's just blowing hot air and writes an article, you know, go to the specialist who's in this specific area. Absolutely. And just tell us, in the last minute we have advice for those truth seekers that now they come to the Dean Show and they like what we had to say and you know what, they're like, you know what, this makes sense. What I'm on is not making sense, it's confusion and I'm not getting at peace. Talk to these people, please. First and foremost, open your heart. Don't come into Islam with a preconceived idea. Go in with an open mind. That if you find the truth, follow it. Use your own common sense. Don't listen to every Tom, Dick and Harry. And don't go in with uh, the hype or the misconceptions of what you heard. Be a smart individual, intellectual, that you make your own decision accordingly. So God Almighty in the Quran says, well, Those who strive in our path, we will guide him to our ways. But you have to have a clear intention and sincere uh, means in order for you to want to find the truth. And if you're sincere about it, God Almighty promises he will actually find the truth for you and help you to do it because the guidance is two types. The type and the guidance that he will show you the way and the guidance that will aid you to be able to do it and that is totally up to you because if you want to change, God Almighty will change you. I ask God Almighty to show you that what is right as right and follow it and that what is wrong is wrong and stay away from it and make us among those who listen speech and follow the best of it. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much. May the creator of the heavens and earth, Allah, reward you for being with us. Thank you, Shay. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. And thank you, thank you so much for coming to the Dean Show. We hope that you come back. We provided proofs, evidences that will hopefully stimulate your mind, that you will leave knowing that this is from no other but the one who created you. Design indicates a designer, and there's one designer who created, designed this whole universe and everything in it. And he is the one that Jesus, peace be upon him. Jesus didn't pray like this or this. 
as is recorded in the Gospel of Matthew, he fell on his face and prayed to the one God. And that's what we're asking you to do, to cut out all the intermediaries. Don't pray to a man or a woman or the sun or the moon, but pray for guidance from the one who created you, the one God, the creator of all that exists. And from there, the guidance will come. From there, the truth will come and the truth will set you free. And that's what we all want to be upon, the truth. And that's how we can truly have peace within ourselves. Because but first, we've got to have peace with the one who created us. So ask for the guidance, ask for the guidance, and the guidance will come, but ask for the from the one who created you. And we'll see you next time. Until then, peace be unto you. In every individual there comes a day where they need to take a second just to contemplate about life. Man, I wonder why am I living it just to my die? Beating, I'm breathing, my days decreasing. God, please hear me and yeah, give me the reason why you brought me in this life. The truth I won't deny Sometimes it gets so depressed I'm stressed No control of my soul Like a hole in my chest Can't sleep at night So I drive into the open Watch the stars While I listen to the ocean